We are joined now by Chris Gunter, chair of the 2015 program committee. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me and for coming to ASHD. Thank you for joining us. You've been planning this event for at least a year now with many other people. Tell us, what are you most excited for attendees to see and experience at this year's ASHG convention? Can I say everything? Is that okay? Yes. Uh, everything, really. I think the strength of ASHG is that there are a number of other meetings out there, but they focus on more specific things. But our human genetics meeting has about 6,000 people. We have have over 3,000 abstracts submitted. So we really focus on the intersection between basic clinical research, genomics, genetic counseling, education. We have it all. And I think that's the strength of ASHG is having that big umbrella and get everyone to talk and meet under that umbrella. There is so much planned for this week. Lots of exciting presentations, symposiums, invited sessions planned. What are some of the big themes or trends that people might be talking about this week? So I think what we're seeing is some of the themes of we've spent a long time developing technology and now we're seeing it applied in the clinic more. So that brings up questions of regulation, etc. We're having a symposium called Building Bridges on Wednesday where we have people from the EU and the US talk to each other about regulation because that's different in the two areas and it's fascinating, very different public opinion about that too, which I think will be interesting for people to hear about. Hmm. So I think that's it, moving things from uh, developing technologies and moving them into the clinic. That's really exciting to us. Are there any new findings or developments being presented for the first time at this conference that you can tell us about? Yeah, well, that's the thing. So there are uh, over 3,000 abstracts submitted. So there's lots and lots of new findings, hopefully, right? We have tons of posters. We have about 390 uh, slide presentations here. So lots of different new findings as well in all different areas. So I can't pick just one. <laughs> there's, there's lots of exciting stuff. What is one of the most exciting ones? So I'm excited about, we have uh, in our um, uh, plenary presentations, we have two on Wednesday and then four on Saturday. And those are the presentations that the program committee felt as a whole did some of the most exciting science. So people can see those on Wednesday and then again on Saturday. Very exciting. And besides presenting the most up-to-date science, there is a special emphasis this year on reaching out to the next generation of scientists. How are you doing that? So I've been coming to this meeting since 1993 when my mentor, both my PhD and postdoc mentor said, this is your home, this is your meeting, this is where you go, this is your society. So we've been trying to instill the same thing in the trainees that are coming up today. And I think we've done a good job. About 50% of our abstracts have trainees as the first author, which was really exciting for me to see as well. Um, so uh, we really want to reach out to them with things like the trainee lounge, with our networking, with our trainee mentor luncheon, and also, if I have to put a plug in, on Twitter, right? That's why we do a lot of uh, reaching out through social media, etc. We want everybody to feel part of the experience because this meeting is quite big. People can get lost. We want to make sure they can find homes. And finally, what do you hope people walk away from this conference with at the end of ASHG 2015? What do you want them to take home with them? Um, what I'd like people to take away is a sense of inspiration. So we uh, have a symposium on Thursday, which is the science of science communication. And it, that's talking about um, anybody who does science, anybody who's a scientist is a science communicator, right? That's what I'm doing right now, right? Is talking about science. And, I, and we have three speakers who will talk about ways to do that better. And in particular, our third speaker is someone who is a patient. I realized when I became program chair that we don't hear from a patient the entire time at this meeting. And I thought that was not good. So my third speaker is going to be someone who has been a patient and she'll talk about that perspective. I hope that's valuable and people will take that away. Chris Gunter. Program Committee Chair, thank you for all of your hard work this year and thanks for your time. Thank you.